everybody, it's Miss Jackson. I am here to show you how to make a wind vane today. So the first thing you're gonna need is your materials. I'll take a touch a picture of them, but it's a styrofoam cup, scissors, a sharpie, a straw and a pencil, and a push pin, and then a small piece of paper. I just grabbed an index card today. But, so we're going to get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your cup, and on the big end down here, you're going to want to write an N for north, and then directly across from the end, you're gonna to wanna to write an S for south, because wind vanes are used to determine which way the wind is blowing. And then you're gonna to wanna to fill in east and west. So I always remember as never eat sour watermelon. And then your next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil and you need a pencil size hole in the cup. The best thing that I suggest is to do this very easily because they can break and you're not gonna want your pencil to fall through very far. See, mine messed up. So bad example. I'm gonna pause it and I will be right back with another. Okay, so you're gonna to want to take a pencil or scissors to make a hole in your cup. You might want to do this for your students just to make sure it's not too big. Because we saw what happened when Miss Jackson used the pencil. So you're gonna to want to make a pencil size hole and put your pencil through. Yeah, label this one. So you want your pencil to be able to fit through the hole because it's going to go on there like this. Your next step is to cut your arrow ends. You can already have these pre-made for the kids or you can make them yourself or they can make them yourself themselves. So you're going to want to make your arrow head and then you can just take it and cut it like this. So now you have your arrow. And you're going to want to tape it on. I forgot to. So the kids can decorate their arrowhead ends or they can leave them just like they are. But you're going to want to tape them. Tape the straw onto the arrowhead. So now you have your little arrow and you're going to take this. I would do this for the kids, not let them do it. And you're going to attach the arrowhead to the pencil. You want to make sure that, I want, I would use some big push pins because you want to make sure that it is loose enough that it will blow. So the kids will hold their thing up under here like this. You can tape and glue your cup on to the pencil if you would like. But it just goes on here like this so the, kid, the cup goes on the kids' hands. And while they're holding it, they can see which way the wind is blowing. You're going to want to make sure that you don't have it too, too tight on your eraser. Um, just spin it around a couple times just to, like, make it loose on your push pin so that the kids can blow it. And you don't want the kids to pull the push pin out too much from the eraser because your eraser will get all messed up and they won't be able to keep the push pin in there. But this is your wind vane. You can tape your cup on there, you can glue your cup on there so it stays in place. 
right now I don't have glue that I would want to use it with um, but this is just the basic one name